Sheridan! Sheridan, where are you? You wicked woman! Die! Stop it, please! Oh, God, voices. Came from over there. No, 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 they're this way. Stop! The mausoleum leaves. You hurt my father. You have to die. I never, I never heard Alistair. He heard, he heard me. Die! You liar! Die! Oh my God. Stop! Do it! Stop! Catherine, can you hear me? Catherine, please don't die. Please, I love you so much. I die without you. No, no! She hurt my father. She is to die! Damn you for interfering, Luis. Catherine had better be dead. I can't let that wicked woman hurt my father anymore. I have to make sure that she's dead. Oh my God, poor Sheridan. Oh, Sheridan? Well, she tried to murder her own mother. Catherine, please, please, my love, please come back to me. <laughs> Wake up, call for Pilar, Lopez Fitzgerald. Look at your husband mooning over my wife. Two adulterous pigs. Both deserve to be slaughtered. Uh, Sharon, uh, relax. Come on. You don't want to kill anybody? No, just her. She has to die. What the hell are you talking about? Why, why does she want to murder her own mother? Sheridan doesn't know what she's saying. Sheridan's sleepwalking. She's not going to remember any of this when she wakes up. Okay? That's ridiculous. Why would she want to murder her own mother? Catherine, please, my love, please come back to me, please. Uh, Sharon, close your eyes. Just relax. Honey, relax. No, not until she's dead again. She's obviously lost her mind. No. Luis is right. She has been sleepwalking ever since Catherine left her as a child to be with you. Yeah, she said Sheridan had her first episode around the time that Catherine supposedly died. Verdad. I can't believe that you're blaming Catherine. Does Julian sleepwalk as well? No. He was much older when Catherine left to be with you. No! It's because Alistair didn't blame Julian for Catherine's so-called death. He made Sheridan think she was responsible. I didn't make Sheridan think anything. My daughter's guilt is real. <laughs> she was wicked, not me. Sheridan. She deserves to die. Sheridan, rest. No, just no. rest. No, that wicked woman deserves to die. All right, Sheridan obviously isn't calming down. Okay, maybe we should try and wake her up, huh, Mama? Me, I don't think that's a good idea. It could be dangerous. Well, I think it's more dangerous than keeping her in a state like this. Right, here, here, let me try. I mean, Sher Sheridan, it's me. Come on, it's time to wake up. Yeah. That wicked woman, she has to die. Indeed, your mother is wicked, Sheridan. Let's hope that you killed Catherine before Luis interrupted you. Catherine, please don't die. Don't leave me now. Not after all these years, not after all we've meant to each other. The boss said there was another reason he left Harmony besides Catherine. Yeah, right. Oh my God, thank God you're alive. Bloody hell. What will it take to kill that woman? Sweetheart, I thought I'd lost you. Sheridan killed you, her own mother. No such luck. Are you all right? I feel weak, sore. Oh my God, Sheridan. Sonny's terribly wrong, Martin. Why would she try and kill me? Sheridan, you <laughs> sleepwalking. She didn't know what she was doing. She sounded pretty clear to me. She kept saying that I, I had to die because I'd done something to Alistair. Oh, I see you found Sheridan. Catherine. Oh, still a wretched excuse for a mother, I see. How could you let your poor daughter run around in the cold outside with no shoes on? What happened wasn't Catherine's fault. Oh, that's right. Defend my unfaithful wife. Oh, sorry. Come on. Shut up, Alistair. Sheridan tried to kill Catherine, and this is all your fault. Mm. Yes, I'm to blame for the polar bears being cold as well. Listen, the reason that Sheridan sleepwalks is because you blamed her for Catherine supposedly dying of kidney failure. Stop. She kept saying that, that, that I had to die because I'd done something to hurt you. Well, as much as I applaud Sheridan's love and devotion for me, I am shocked that she would try and hurt you, Catherine. You're just a liar, Alistair. You're the one who made her believe that she was responsible for my death. How can, how can you do this to your own daughter? Look what you've done. <laughs> <laughs>
<sighs> Lying to her, telling her that she was to blame for my death, confusing her terribly. I don't know how you sleep at night, Alistair. It appears that Sheridan is the one who has trouble sleeping. <laughs> Go to hell, Alistair. And I'll help no, 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 it's not worth it. No, it's, it's okay. Well, someone in Harmony thinks so. Someone tried to poison me, and the evidence uh, leans toward Eve Russell. She's a tart. Like you, Catherine. You should be dead. Dead. Sheridan, please, Sheridan, calm down, okay? Your mother's out of our lives now, anyway. There you go. Okay. She's gone into a deeper sleep now. I'm taking her back to the cottage. Let's go. Come with you, Mickey. And you, you're coming with us. I want to hear about this big, dark secret of yours. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. Alistair. Actually, I don't recall inviting you back with us. I'm here because of Sheridan. Oh, yeah? Well, it's because of you that Sheridan started sleepwalking in the first place. And it's because of you that she's sleepwalking again, Catherine. You see, I'm no shrink. But maybe Sheridan's psyche can't reconcile with you being alive after being blamed for your death all these years ago by you. Sheridan did keep saying that, that I should be dead, but I, I just hated that I... that she's so upset. That's why Catherine and I wanted to leave Harmony so that we could spare all of you any more pain. No, you're not going anywhere. Until I find out why you left Harmony all those years ago. Okay, you... No more excuses, no more interruptions. You're gonna tell us why you really left Harmony. What this big, dark secret is that you've carried around with you all these years, and what it has to do with Sheridan. 